Assalamualaikum and good morning. So, today we are going to do an experiment. Experiment, okay, the aim of the experiment is to determine the relationship between the force and extension of a spring. So, our apparatus and materials for experiment today is spring with length not less than 10 cm, 5 pieces of 50 gram slotted weight, and then meter ruler, a retort stand with two clamps, and also we also need a ruler. Uh, oh, another thing is P plus the seam and thread. Okay, so let's start our experiment. So set up the apparatus as shown uh, as this. So, and then we need to ensure that the zero mark of the, your meter ruler is at the same level as the upper end of the spring. So, this one. So, make sure it is in the same level. And then we put our pin here so that it could ease uh, us to read the reading. Okay, so after we have uh, set up our apparatus like this, the first thing that we need to do is to read the original length of the spring. So in this case, the original length of the spring is 22.5. So let's jot it down first. So L0, the original length is 22.5. Now, uh, we need to increase the force. The first top of force that we are going to use is 50 gram. So let's put this very carefully. Okay. So now our reading. Make sure the the spring stop oscillating. So we need to read the first reading. The first reading is 24.8. So let's jot it down here. So the extended length is 24.8 cm. Now, we the increase can lagi the uh, slotted weight here. Yeah? Let's wait for it to stop bouncing. And then now, the reading is... Reading is 34. Point Thirty-four point four. Next, 200 gram.
Okay, now is the process of uh, analyzing our data. So we got a mass and we got our extended length. We need to find force and extension of spring. Okay, how to find the force? We need to times the mass with the gravitational acceleration. So the first force is 5 newton, second is 10 newton, third is 15 newton, then fourth is 20 newton, and the last one is 25 newton. Okay, extension of spring. How do we find extension of spring? So it's through this formula. X is equals to L minus L naught. L naught is our original length. So the first extension of spring. Uh, we got length of 24.8 minus with 22.5. So we got extension of 2.3. Second one is uh, 7, third one is 11.9, fourth one is 16.6, .6. Last one is 21.5. Okay, so we're still in the analyzing data, but then we're going to the next part, which is uh, plotting our graph. So the graph that we need to plot is graph of extension of spring X against force. Okay, so our Y axis is extension of spring X in centimeter, and our X axis is force, uh, which is in Newton. So we need to plot our data. Lah. So our data, 5 uh, newton is 2.3 cm, 10 newton is 7, 15 newton is 11.9, 20 newton is 16.6, and last one, 25 newton is 21.5 cm. Okay, so as you can see, this is the plotted data, and then we need to do a line. Okay, the line, uh, as you can see, we cannot really put the all of the data on the line. So what we need to do is to draw a best fit line. So while I'm adjusting to this, I got this as my best fit line. One point mm, goes through the line and then the rest is balanced. Two is on the bottom part and two is on the top part of the line. Okay. So this is our uh, extension uh, graph of extension of spring X again force F. Okay, so conclusion. What conclusion that we can draw from this experiment? So kita, so this is a directly proportional graph. So we can see that the larger the force applied on a spring, the larger the extension of spring so our hypothesis is proven now the discussion what are the precautions uh, while doing while doing this experiment okay we can say that our eyes must be perpendicular to the scale of meter ruler always make sure your eye must be perpendicular to the meter ruler when taking the measurement next discussion Okay, does our point plotted form a perfect straight line? No, as you can see, not all of our points are on the line. Okay, why is this can happen? Okay, there might be a few mishap during the experiment. One of it is, might be uh, the original length that we took. It's not really, uh, what can I say? Precise. There might be like slight difference. It might not be parallel to the uh, scale. Okay, so that will uh, uh, that that will have some uh, deviation in our calculation. Also, the pins on the that we put on our spring so that it could ease our uh, measurement taking is not really horizontal to the scale because it's really hard to adjust uh, and then sometimes when we add the 
weight, uh, the needle becomes slightly slanted, so it's not really horizontal to the scale. So our reading will also deviate, causing a little deviation in reading. Okay, that's all for our experiment today. Thank you.